The following program is intended for mature audiences. Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Show. Each week, four friends sit down and shoot the shit. As the shenanigans begin, hilarity ensues as everything is caught on tape. And now, broadcasting from a random table, it's time! Do I need to take over? I'm turning us on. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what he's doing. What the hell is going on, everybody? Welcome to another show. It's the Ordinary Guy Show. Woo. Yeah. What's up, gentlemen? Oh, dude, we're amped up and ready. I, just... I was watching you turn knobs as soon as we come on, yeah. and I just, I'm, I'm not 100% that you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm just winging it. <laughs> to be honest with you, hey, it's just a you shameless know. plug. John saw it on no, a YouTube no, no. video. Leave it there. Leave it there. Because you got everything a mess. You Every week, I'm getting better. You know, I'm just watching YouTube videos, trying to get better. You know, it's all and, it's all the critics. No, they're making you get better. Uh, that's it. Well, they don't like Frank and 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 Kevin. They like us. All right. Speaking and, uh, of Kevin, yes. Kevin's not here. Kevin is absentee. Or a tripod. Kevin's gone. A tripod today. And yeah, Kevin. Um, he got kicked out. Of he the band. got kicked out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin oh. is in California. Enjoying a freaking beautiful Vacation. time. I, it's California. I don't know how beautiful it is. Did you see the traffic picture he sent? I don't think it's... I don't. I have Kevin blocked <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone knows that Kevin hates everything. Yes. So you know he's going to come back with like a shitload of yeah. content. Yeah. The next two episodes, everybody, is Kevin hates your, we, we might your just life. Do, <laughs> we might just say, Kevin, do your own thing. And that way you just don't bring everyone down. Yeah, and we'll just attach it to the end. We were gonna have Kevin call in and tell us, you know, how much he's hating his life right now with all the driving and everything he had to do to get to the hotel. But he's actually having a hard time <laughs> checking into the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He ain't calling in to nothing. No. Yeah. So. I, I just I love how terrible things find their way to Kevin. Yeah. That's so <laughs> it's funny. amazing. All it's always now. You guys were making fun of my intro before. Yeah. Why? It's just it's. <laughs> Are you guys over the, it's time. And I think that, I mean, it's borderline wrestling or boxing. We should come in. Maybe we make an entrance to where we're like, it's too soft boxing. for, it's too <laughs> soft for MMA though, but it's definitely wrestling or boxing. It's Thanks. time is the guy that says the MMA stuff. That's him. That's Michael, uh, uh, Bruce Buffer that says right before an MMA fight. It's time. Five rounds he for the UFC Heavyweight Championship. I hope he would do it much better yeah, than Yeah, I'm they. not going to lie. UFC's never called you, have they? No. no I'm I still, think so. <laughs> still waiting on that call. I am still Amateur waiting. wrestling? Maybe. Dude, there you go. There's a gig. Amateur yeah. wrestling. I'll take uh, it. Dude, amateur wrestling. What about... Okay, let's go, this, let's go down this rabbit hole. Backyard wrestling. Whatever happened to it? Well... Is it still around? People you killing know. themselves. That's what happened well, to that. That's fine. It's still around, though. Yeah, okay, people still, yeah. they get their trampolines, they get their ladders, and they kill each other. You still watch it? it. I've passed a couple of YouTube videos <laughs> on it. Hey, man, I'll get lost down the rabbit hole on YouTube. I Just have a done. confession. I had a backyard wrestling league See? in my backyard. See? Yeah. yeah. Frank, Frank likes wrestling. I, Frank, I used to. Tell us Whoa. how much you spent Whoa. on WrestleMania tickets, <laughs> Frank. Whoa. <laughs> Never been. You've never been to WrestleMania? I've never been to WrestleMania. I thought you went to WrestleMania. No, I stayed in the hotel room and watched Ava. So oh. Janet can go to WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, so your wife enjoyed WrestleMania yeah. without you. So it's kind of We're just going to fucking... We're just on the roll. We're going to throw everybody under the bus, right? Everyone. Right. Everybody. Everybody. John's no one under. Safe. Kevin's no one under. Is safe. No one is safe. Every yeah. year, Janet, her cousins, her brother, and her... Well, if her dad tries to go, they go to WrestleMania no matter where it is. <laughs> but... That's okay. crazy. No, okay, take WrestleMania out of the the equation. Then anything is fine. <laughs> so, but it's like quality family time. They just Oh, sure. No, I don't they, like that's okay. their thing. Right. It's that's like a family thing. reunion I'm type cool thing it. and it's like if you I mean some people I get it. No, nothing I, I brings it. nothing brings the family closer than seeing Roman Reigns lose again. That's, I don't know. You don't know. About. See, I lost you there. But a person that watches wrestling, 
will agree with me. I think chicks bring their boyfriends and husbands to wrestling events to find out if they're really gay. Well, no, I mean, I could see that. Man, right? Like, if you get, if you yeah. get Chubb, like, watching two dudes go at it. Right. So your wife didn't have to take you, so she kind of knew. No, you know, like, so. She already knew. Because like, I, I cannot have Frank here because <laughs> his erection will get us in trouble. <laughs> no, see, I know how the whole thing works. So uh, I would cheer for the dudes with the most clothing on. So, like, Sting comes out, and I'm like, yeah, it's my man. Who? Uh, you know, whatever. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I know a little bit about wrestling. Uh-huh. It wasn't that, like... Uh, solid 2002. Sting. Reference. Oh, probably sooner. Th- was a, than that. He's a while. He's been. He was on, around for a while. I don't want to talk about wrestling anymore. <laughs> Speaking of, okay, let's on. just touch wrestling UFC a little bit. Brock Lesnar made his return to UFC this past weekend, and he's going to fight Daniel Cormier. I don't know if you guys follow UFC at all. I but do it's a, a little bit. It's a pretty big matchup, especially for Daniel Cormier. I imagine the other dude's pretty big. Brock? No. Oh. The Daniel. DC, no. It's, it's, very, against... it's, it's very interesting. He's not big like the way you would think. No. So he's probably really good at Brazilian he's, he's jiu-jitsu just or something. Good. Yes, he's, he's just good. all around good. I think he's the, uh, uh, he just captain won the for the USA. He just won the belt, that. right? He, so he just won the belt by, Two. by beating the winningest champion ever. Well, the heavyweight championship and the lightweight championship he is. So, uh, yeah. He, light he's, heavy, I believe. Oh, light heavy weight. Say, yes, light sorry. Weight. He's in two different divisions, yeah. so that's well, a no, lot so, of so, weight. So he, he won the light heavy, or he won the lightweight when he was like twelve. Yeah, but then, what's a heavyweight? Two hundred five. Uh, I think any. Pa- I, I think any, wrong any pass, people yeah, to be asking. You're wrong, I'm wrong one to ask. But I honestly, Brock Lesnar is definitely heavy. A, Brock Lesnar is definitely a heavyweight, and they're supposed to be introducing more weight classes over time because heavy would be like you know, let's just say it's two hundred five and up. I think of like Brock Lesnar's not 205. No, pounds. Brock Lesnar would be in like a super heavyweight. I yeah. think the heavyweights are. I think they're like 230 and up, 235 and up. I think your lightweights are 205, something around which, there. Which narrows it down. But they're talking about having a weight class like almost every 10 pounds. No, which too much. You're always fighting belts. somebody yeah. in your like who's. I'd get, it's like boxing. This yeah, guys but you could take a shit and enter a different weight there. class. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brock Lesnar. Okay, so we want to talk about... Hey, guys, we don't know anything about what we're talking we about. We don't. We no, just shoot no. it. We're just shooting it right out of the gate. <laughs> Experts said nothing. But you know who Brock Lesnar is, right? Of course. He's he a looks beast. like he, he would is. eat you for dinner. Yes. Yeah, so let's say you're just walking down the street. What? You, you, you okay there? Yeah. I just, oh. I'm good. <clears throat> you're can, walk- I, can I cut in before we lose a lot of people? Okay. We've got some bills to pay, John. Let's pay the bills. That's right. We... <laughs> we <laughs> <laughs> right when I was fucking drinking. We've got some bills to pay. We do. And we do. Uh, on a serious note, I would like to introduce oh, a man. sponsor. Oh, After our boy. very first episode, somebody reached out to us and decided that they were going to sponsor us. So this two minutes this is, is sponsored by Enormex Condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, you can see Enormex condoms looks like it fits about <laughs> accurately. After the first podcast, they felt like um, I was in need. <laughs> well, you were, I don't have anything you to lost, say. You lost everybody there. Like I said, they only sponsored the first two minutes. <laughs> On to the next. You lost everybody there. No, but uh, serious note, you had no air conditioning. And you got yes. that None. whipped up real fast. Yes, thanks to the guys. At Bear Air. And actually, Frank, this show is brought to you by Bear Air. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Very first sponsor, everybody. Yeah. Hell Round yeah. of applause for Bear Air. Uh, this week's show is brought to you by Bear Air because it's too damn hot outside to be without AC. <laughs> so, so a little, little. And you know, from I know. firsthand experience. Firsthand experience. How bad was that? Man, it was so bad. And let me tell you something. Did if you feel you... like you're living in like Uganda? Yes. I had a bat wing going on down there. It was terrible. But... I don't even know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you need service done to your AC, don't how, call anybody else. How fast were they there? Brian picked up his phone right away. He was there and got the part ordered, and uh, and it came in the next day. And he was waiting for me to get off work, basically to install it. So you know, most of the time people say they're going to do something and then do the exact opposite. Yeah. So it's nice to say, yeah, on it, done, and it actually gets done. Yep. Yeah. So if you, it's it's blazing hot out right now, and if you're without AC. 
and you don't want to be ripped off by some of these other companies, I recommend calling Brian Bear Air, 321-271-0105. Tell him the OGs sent you, the guys from the uh, Ordinary Guys podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever our name is. <laughs> well, just to plug Brian as an individual, when he first got his thing started, you know, he had branched off from a, a larger chain. And I remember reaching out to him probably like 9, it was like 9, 9.30 on a weekday night. And we were without air conditioner. I was just trying to set something up for tomorrow, if possible. So he says, hold on, I'll be right there. Yeah. Dude comes over to my house, 9.30, fixes my AC. He says, look, we'll, we'll take care of everything later. You got a new baby? Yeah. Keep cool. Make sure Janet doesn't flip <laughs> yep. out. And ever since then, we've, we've never called oh, or yeah. considered anybody else. You always think you can tough it out until it comes time to go to sleep. Oh, it's and the worst. You're yes. sitting there just sweating. Sweating. And you're angry. Sweating. You're like, mother. Oh, my problem is when you toss and turn like you guys slide side sleepers like i, I yes. tend to lean on my yeah. side so when i switch to the other side i literally have to peel my sweaty sack like a pancake and flip <laughs> it over to the other side when it's that hot because of brian <laughs> my stuff was nice and tight yeah it was wonderful like i slept like a freaking baby last night let me tell you the age AC... you have a booby in your mouth huh maybe <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to go there. I was about <laughs> to open up the door for you guys, but I'm shutting that damn door right now. You know who your company is. Yes. <laughs> I remembered who my company was. And, and I don't you wanna... know that Kevin's not here to take shit. So you I know. I shit. know. It's it's fair game today because Kevin's not here. We, might, uh, we might have a segment from Kevin. He'll uh, chime in a little bit. Maybe. If we can get our technical diff- difficulties <laughs> to, to work. John's editing. So if... If Kevin doesn't pop in, it's John's fault. And I also apologize to everybody who has to listen to an hour of it. <laughs> but on, on a serious note, though, I know, you know, outside of having that crummy week, you did have a bunch of good stuff to talk about. You actually had something that makes you feel extremely refreshed yeah. to talk about. What is that? I don't know. I've never used one before. Yeah. Oh, well, I was telling you guys off air. Enlighten us. Yes, I was telling you guys off air that um, one of the wonderful experiences in life is just to be fresh and clean. And with a bidet, (laughs) you too can be fresh and clean. Let me tell you something. I bought this bidet off Amazon.com. It had five-star rating, $35. Use our affiliate. You hooked it. That's uh, right. Amazon.com. Check them out. Get it from Amazon only. Through our website. That's a mo- I don't care website. if you buy it through Amazon. Yes, which is under construction. Buy by it the through way. our site. Yeah, which is under construction, by the way, and hopefully will be completed. You fucked it up? I fucked it up and deleted it and started again because I didn't like how it looked. Oh Anyways, back to the story. Well, that doesn't help. Ba- there's still an Amazon link going to be on there. Anyways, back to the story. All right. Bidet, $35, five-star rating. Okay, five stars. That means it's good. By not just 10 people. Five-star rating by over 1,000 people. So 1,000 people have used your bidet. Yeah, not my particular bidet, but yes, yes. Okay, if you come over, you're going to be using it because I put one in the public bathroom. All right, so 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 can we back up for just one second? Sure, sure. I think we. I mean, we all know what a bidet is, Mm -hmm. but how exactly does a bidet work? I have a question. Yeah. All right. Is it like the windshield squirter on your car? That's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, do you need to also towel yourself down when you're done? Okay, pretty much the, it is. If you use normal toilet paper, it just like falls apart if it's sure. wet. Yeah. So, so finger right through the this one, <laughs> this one all so the time. So pretty much it is like the squirter, but uh, it it depends on if you want to spend more. You can get one that that dries you as well, that heats your seat, that does everything. I mean, by heating your seat, you're talking about the actual rim, the actual rim or of your the rim. Seat. Actual rim of the seat. Gotcha. Not your rim. <laughs> I mean, they are ones that, that spray hot water, too. It's hot? Like, so, burn your so, butt So, hole? let me get uh, this straight. So, like the idea warm, is... Like, ooh. Like, uh, so, the idea is you're wetting your butthole so that you can wipe it clean with a piece of toilet paper. You can... You can... Okay, no. If you're like a guy like me, I'm on there with my phone, and okay, I just cleaned it, and I still got a little bit left to go on my game or my internet searching that I have, or the porno, and bam... Done. Okay. You're dry by the time you get up. Can you have it running like the whole time while you're pooping? <laughs> you <laughs> while you're pooping, I don't, I haven't tried that, but yeah, you could. Yeah, you just could. let it ride. The pressure stays on. I mean, it's 
Continue. Fucking blunder. So no more toilet paper? You really could do without toilet paper, but you also you want to make sure you you're getting it all, you know. So you're basically creating a wipe on your you're asshole. using a, a dry yeah, piece you're of toilet using paper, less, a wet butt, you're making a wipe. Yeah, you're, you're making using a mess. Could I That's just use a I wipe? Hear. You could use a wipe, but so I use wipes you're, all the time. you're using you're less. You're gonna have to use paper towel to wipe your balls off. No, because everything's gonna be wet. No. Yeah. This stream is just getting it's, your your asshole. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me no? So it's no literally way. locked into the butt. It is locked in. Like, what if it catches you mid fart? Are you getting an enema? Oh yeah, it's going up there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going up there. And sometimes it's a nice surprise. To, I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. Sometimes it's a nice surprise. Okay. Does okay. So the other thing I've noticed too is when you go to a toilet that looks like a bidet, I'm always torn. Is someone That's just trying to mess. look up my ass? That's like because this looks like a weird contraption. See here. that pro- that has the front and the back cleaner and all that. This toilet thing that I bought only has the back, but can front if you adjust yourself right. You, you know? just turn around and sit on it with your arms on the back. Well, you just toilet. do like a little sliding motion like that, you know, sometimes. Yeah. And you John's spending all. way too much time on this thing. This, this is taking is, a turn for the worst. This thing is wonderful. I'm telling you, it's I, I am honestly squeaky fascinated, clean back there. And, and to be honest with you, like I've always wanted to try it. I'm just a little bit nervous about thirty bucks. Amazon Prime days are coming up. No man, thirty bucks. We still you got spend kids. Money. Wet wipes are everywhere. That's I'm what I'm sticking saying. with that. You spend I money. Buy, I, yeah, I buy. Think about I a world. Think about a world with less toilet paper. And less wet wipes. I don't give a shit and about that. And more people uh, walking around, not a hundred percent sure if their ass and is this clean. Is, but this is what the Chinese and and uh, China and all those Koreans are doing uh, up over there in their part of the shit world. About them, this is how they do it. They also and that's the shit future. over holes in the floor. Yeah. Well, uh, that too, but <laughs> they go home to their bidet. Which is honestly, I think it's more. You know, what is it? Um, uh, ergonomically ergonomic. correct. It's more ergonomically correct to just stand shitting. I think. Shit oh. standing? Then you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> there's a video probably on Facebook. I don't know. But a dude runs and jumps <laughs> off a dock and shits midair. <laughs> That's spectacular. And, uh, slow motion is good. Blowout shit or like flying turd? Flying turd. That's amazing. That is pretty amazing. Uh, that's why I told you. Watch. I wouldn't have told you. I'm only bringing you quality stuff. Let's see if we can't find a link to that and put that on the freaking. Can we do that? Can we put a link on yet? You, you can put a link on the on the uh, on the podcast, like the iTunes notes. Uh, we can put a link in the description on you on YouTube. I I think we're we're gonna promise you guys that we're gonna find you a midair flying turd. I want to bring everyone up to speed that Frank has no idea how to work <laughs> any of yes. the internet. Abilities. I don't. No, all day long. I'm actually currently locked out of my own GoPro. <laughs> all day long. And it's I don't Frank know my saying, internet password. We get Frank saying, "Hey, what's the stats? What's the stats?" That that that, that is in between times when Frank can use his phone. That's very true. But that's another story. My dad for another takes it day. away from me. Uh, we'll, we'll take later on. Yeah. We'll elaborate. We'll yeah. save that one. All right, we're making a list for you guys. We got so far on the list, we've got gummy worms, yep. and my phone privileges, and um, whatever Morgan's holding against Kevin. And whatever that Morgan's never, holding against Kevin, she's. <laughs> I bet you it's nothing. I bet you, it is something so dumb. But he was acting childish, and she's like, "I'm gonna hold it against you." Oh yeah, and then yeah, solid gold right there. <laughs> it's literally something that's that all a pacifier could have yeah. fixed at the time for Kevin. Uh. Mickey Pop. Mickey, Mickey Pop. Pop. Real fast. I think I have Kevin on the line here. Kevin, are you there? No, he's not yet. We're <laughs> calling him though. We're calling him. We'll figure this uh we're, we'll figure this whole podcast. Kevin said he was ready. Number nine. You're... Kevin said he was ready. If he's not ready, we're gonna leave him. He's yelling at Morgan right now. No. I got you, it's for the show. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not ready, we're gonna leave him the worst <laughs> voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I'm not oh, ready. too bad I didn't Two, spit it. One. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the number. Give uh, it to the world. We should have gave it to the world and leave this number of voicemail. Yeah, I think that would have been That's awesome. it. You won't hear from Kevin today. So. All right. Another thing, topic uh, I wanted to get into was the... Another uh, thing, topic. <laughs> was the... Was the um, Wing dang. <laughs> assholes. Well, not you guys. Assholes in sports. Assholes in sports. We're, right. we're talking about that earlier, remember? 
Yeah, I so I want you to put the full unedited <laughs> version on YouTube. <laughs> Assholes in sports. All right, let's rewind. For those of you on YouTube, you've already heard me say Michael Jordan is in there. John says he earned his right to be there. I agreed. I think Next. LeBron is a total asshole because he's not as good as MJ, but thinks he's better. Matt just then, went controversial. Uh, Real and quick. He fucking, okay. uh, I think, and I chasing, think Jordan's way better than LeBron. He's chasing trophies. Jordan never left the fucking Bulls to go yeah. win a trophy. He LeBron made hasn't, hit, hasn't hit Kobe status to me. No. Dude, Kobe's light years. Uh, outside of a handful of girls that I can name off the top of my head, Oh, LeBron man. is the next person in line that permanently has RBF. What right? about? He's got a resting pitch face. Like oh, after LeBron. The, yeah, like as soon as he sits down at a conference table, you're like, yeah. What about? Because he's a miserable person. He's got. He's be. fucking chasing trophies. He left Miami. He left Cleveland. He left Cleveland. Went to Miami. Left Miami. Went back to Cleveland. Now he's at the Lakers. Is that Kevin? Yeah, we're not answering. Get him on the phone. No, no, we're not answering. He brought down the show the last time. All right, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> He so, wasn't there when we called. He's got bad service over there. And we were talking about like the classics. All right. Okay. Whenever you're I got in baseball, you got a baseball. So whenever you're in like that era of fucking Larry Bird, Barkley, like all that, you know, there's they have their era of fucking dickheads. But when you're that good, everyone gets pissed. Sure. That's like the whole. That's the whole. That, that's the hater thing, right? So, so now we have that sort of stuff, especially with social media. It's so easy to see what like Steph Curry's doing, whereas you used to have to actually go see a game. But back then, I mean, you had a handful of people, and I'm sure, like, I'm sure that's part of why. NBA yeah, but how cool asshole. would that be to be able to go to the bar after a game and not worry about everyone on their fucking cell phone recording everything? Oh yeah, they do? have no clue what's going on. Yeah. You can get in a fist fight. You can do whatever. Charles Paul Barkley. Pierce got into a knife fight. <laughs> Charles yeah. Barkley got into tons of fights. Yeah. Tons of fights. Badass. But, all right, my baseball. Barry Bonds. Mm. Barry Bonds was a bit of an asshole as he got later. He was, but there are a lot more that were assholes that really How, robbed okay. money. Really? What was... Um, A-Rod was, was an asshole. Bobby Bonilla. Isn't it uh, Sammy Sosa that's white now? Yes. <laughs> How did he turn white? <laughs> I don't know. MJ. He said, Michael Jackson style. He said it was a... Uh, it's a skin disease, right? A skin disease, yeah. yeah. I guess, it looks fantastic. I guess the skin reacted differently to the cream that he was putting on it, probably. I don't know. Um, yeah. Steroid cream does that, people. <laughs> um, outside of that, I mean, I hear like you know, I hear like David Cohn was an asshole. Hold on. Let me yeah, stop you. Coney. Let me stop you right there. Steroids. They should 100% be allowed in sports. Yeah. If you're going to be an anomaly. You want to take them? Who cares? Be the best anomaly. Be the fucking Hulk. People want to see bigger, stronger, faster, more home runs, bigger slam yeah. dunks, harder hits. If then by all means, roid them all up. They're already sacrificing their body. Yeah. If, they're, if they want to do roids, go for it. You want to dope, blood dope, whatever? Yeah. Go for it. If it's going to make you a fucking monster. Wow. Bro, and every one of those guys are getting handies after yeah, the game, so but, I don't feel bad for them. <laughs> and, but a big fuck you, though, to the person that signs up to play the game, then sues because 30 years later they have a concussion. You know? Fuck that. You made your money. You put your time in. You knew what you were signing up for. You know what I got to say? Fuck Jose Canseco. It's because oh, they all end man, up. Yeah. Jose Canseco. He fucked up. The he Bash fucked Brothers, up. Man. He fucked up progress. Yeah. No, the um, we'd be steroid. It'd be it would be a yeah. purely allowed steroid error if he didn't blow the top off that thing a little too early. So but Mark McGuire did turn from skinny to beast. It's fine. Maybe he switched his diet. Keto. <laughs> Keto. Yeah, maybe he went. <laughs> maybe he just started loading up on carbs. <laughs> oh man, good times. So we don't even have a full five list. I don't think. Football. Oh, we can go football. Can we go by looks like an asshole, Tom Brady? Tom Brady. But no, he's that. such a sweet fucking guy. Yeah. Tom Brady's just okay. wonderful. Uh, I look at Tom Brady like I look at Dale Earnhardt. I thought you were going to say dicks. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's one of those people you... I look at Tom Brady like I look at dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> he's fucking loving it. He's all handsome. Frank, you have... No. Frank's had a box right. of dicks on his mind since, <laughs> since somebody said that. So, it's All one right. of those people, you respect them, 
but they are your enemy. Oh, great. Right? I've always been a Dolphins fan. Patriots, sworn enemies, regardless of anything. Sure. And if you look at Tom Brady's stats, awesome fucking dude. I just think Stetson was a bad move for him. Stetson? Oh, I've never seen him. I didn't care ever since he came out on the Stetson bottle. Like Brokeback Mountain style? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, I saw so much more of you before this. Oh, the cologne you're talking the cologne, about? Cologne, Stetson oh. cologne. What the hell kind of cologne are you wearing? Dude, I don't know. Tom Brady's face is on that shit. Wow. Anything that Tom Brady's face is on? No, I hate it. <laughs> you like to put Tom Brady's Brady. face on Unless your body? Unless it's Giselle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Hot wife. Impeccable career. You know what's so funny though is that dude was like bulletproof, right? How many athletes out there have kids with like random baby mamas mm-hmm. and they get all no, that no crap, fucking that drama nonsense? Tom Brady literally dumped a pregnant supermodel, yeah, to be with Giselle, yeah. and everybody Just was a like, little slack he got into, yeah, and everybody was like, I get it, he got get more it, man. over. A slightly deflated football than anything else. It's very mm-hmm. true. A slightly deflated football. No, so you what? Know. Are we just jealous because he's fathering children with supermodels? As in, as in an S after? No, uh, I'm not I, jealous. I think, I think it's think the he's... money. Yeah. And I, he's got a fucking legacy. Yeah. As a he as a man, goat. you want to leave a legacy, right? You remember how the world stopped when he almost got killed in a car accident? He's the goat. <laughs> Do you not remember that, John? I don't. He was on his way to sign his contract, and his Mercedes got T-boned. Really? Oh, dude, and the story right away just came out. Tom Brady T-boned on the way to contract signing, and people were, like, losing their shit. (laughs) Don't mess with our Tommy. Yeah, he was like, I just got a little (laughs) bruise on my arm. Is that it? My Is that your throwing? throwing Tommy, is that your throwing arm? (laughs) The Patriots are going to be the best. (laughs) Oh, man. All right, so I, you know, as ordinary guys in a non-competitive sports region, uh, yeah, we don't have five people that we think are assholes enough in sports. Yeah, Tiger Wood, Tiger Woods is a big asshole, and I feel like we can call him an asshole because of his local nature, right? Like, so it's not like we know Tiger from afar. Like the dude, the dude's an asshole. He, what about he lives a few miles down the road? What about the reverse assholes? That totally redeemed himself. Mike Tyson. Love Mike Tyson. Absolutely. No. The hangover put him in a whole the hangover life for put me. him in a And then that interview he did where the dude's like, Oh, how do you feel about a convicted rapist? He's like, Fuck you, you're a piece of shit. And he's <laughs> like, No, Mike, we're alive. Yeah, we're alive. Yeah. He's like, No, fuck you, you're yeah. a piece of shit. He didn't <laughs> and he's like, What are you gonna do about it? Like, could you imagine being Mike Tyson and someone talking shit and be like, What are you gonna do about it? Imagine the guy who has to push Mike Tyson's buttons like that, though. Like, going into that, they're like, you're well, call him a rapist. <laughs> yeah. That could be any day, though. You could serve him different eggs, and he could snap on you. And yeah, say, so. I didn't order, I didn't order these eggs, I, or, I, however I, he says it. <laughs> I, I would start everything with, um, no matter how this goes, I need your word that you're not going to try to fucking eat me. He, He's just, a fucking bit, he just bit his ear. I mean, he didn't try to eat anyone. He's Did not you cannibal. hear the interview, though? Well, his interview after one of his fights was always a roller coaster. It was. Well, you got. I want to eat his heart out. Crazy. I'm going to eat his children. Praise be Allah. Yeah, the dude definitely said he wanted to eat some children. Yeah. Well, Touche. There's, there's some. I don't listen to that shit. You watch it. You went down your YouTube rabbit hole. Yeah. yeah. You know what though? The next guy in line who knows he has to fight him afterwards is like, oh fuck, he's gonna eat. Exactly. Him. It's oh, a mind fuck. God. It's total. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he's getting in everyone's head. He's like, this dude's gonna eat my kids. Yeah. And then like their dog runs away, and he's like, fuck, dude, Mike Tyson ate my dog. My, yeah. <laughs> dude, if, in, in today's world, well, imagine, like, I'm out of here. Imagine if guys. Mike Tyson was. Like, in, t- in today's world, right? We need to have Mike Tyson on the show. Well, I and mean... A, and an interpreter. I, I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, like, Mike Tyson in his prime today, going up to, like, other fighters' houses in the middle of the night and, like, Facebook living. I'm right outside his bedroom <laughs> windows. <laughs> maybe I'm we a, could get... If, a, if we could tell Mike I'm Tyson... Them he kids! Could, he could punch Kevin. Maybe he'd come on the show. <laughs> that could be a segment on the show. Mike Tyson... Punches who? Kevin, but <laughs> that, that would be pretty amazing. <laughs> but who? Okay, who would you be more scared of, Chuck Norris or Mike Tyson? 
Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Yeah, but have you seen the Chuck Norris? The internet will call your phenomenal. cell phone. He'll call your iPhone, and it'll say accept or accept. <laughs> Now, you can't deny but Chuck Norris. But have you ever seen Chuck Norris? He's a solid like five foot seven. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was dead. Oh really? No, he's still alive. How old is he? He's old. He's older. He's older, right? Yeah. So Tyson, the, inter- the internet took all that over yeah. and made it amazing. Oh yeah, it made it amazing. <clears throat> That's just just the hype that they put behind that guy is pretty good. I used to always like Van Dam with his ha da. No, dude. Walker touches Ranger, man. Man. Yeah. The fucking cowboy hat wouldn't move. Dude. <laughs> and <that> if- <laughs> he could throw a kick and keep that cowboy hat on. No problem. No problem. I mean, roundhouse. Who roundhouses anyone? Chuck Norris roundhouse everyone. Everyone. everyone Patrick in Swayze way. did a couple. Yeah, but that was that era. Yeah. No, you're right. Roadhouse was it. Like Roadhouse was legit. And that was like when. We're on a roadhouse, huh? It's a damn good movie. <laughs> ah, fucking wonderful, dude. Rips to start out. And then, uh, you know, on CIA Wait. or uh, Central Intelligence, where I... The Rock loves fucking Roadhouse. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's a good movie. What I don't get is his buddy in Roadhouse is the fucking dad on the ranch. Yes. That's that guy was old during Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to Google how old that guy is. I don't even know his Sam name. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. You guys continue. I'm going to find out. He's in his 70s. He's up there, yeah. Sam Elliott? He is, uh, he is great in Tombstone, too. Dude, he was old then. Yeah, uh, that is... Uh, I think he was just a silver fox. I'm your huckleberry. Uh-huh. He went gray. He went gray early. Fight's not with you. Uh, and he's got... The, holiday. That's true, because you know, like George Clooney went gray pretty quick, and he was like... I don't even think Chicks he was love 40. that shit. Fight's Only not, when you have a full head of hair. Fight's not with you, Holiday. I beg to differ. Bro. Come on, Frank. He was born in 1944. He's 73. Yeah. We need our statistician here today. He's 73. It looks like he's... He's you know, more badass than you. It looks like he's 83 after death. <laughs> oh, man. You guys you guys are unhinged today with your comments a little bit. I might have to do a little bit of editing tonight, but... Now we're gonna on, go on that note. Can we pause? On that note, yeah, we I can need pause. To pause. Okay. Yeah, pause. you gotta do yeah. a little potty break. Yeah, yeah. I do. <laughs> we'll go go it's okay. You no, can, I just you can uh, you can get up and one go. or two stretch my huh? One or two? Yeah, one. No, well, we'll go for it, man. We'll, yeah, we'll take over. I'll get you. Oh boy, we can run the show. Yeah, do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> people do shit all the time. People leave and come back. I turn the mic down. Go yeah. For it. And they talk shit about him, though. That's a problem. Yeah. All right. I'm out. <laughs> they talk a lot of shit about him. Bitch can't hold his bladder. You He's know, I'm, I don't watch shit. the YouTube videos. So I fuck baby. you guys. Well, baby boy, there's baby there bladder. He goes with his bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Matt's going to jerk off. Okay. So let's get into this conversation because it's going to get a little dark. Okay. Okay. It's going to get a little dirty. We got to watch what we say. YouTube. Uh, not YouTube, but Facebook. Okay. Messages with Facebook from friends that just send you random video messages that sometimes are not safe for work. Like the asshole totally that's now in the bathroom. <laughs> like the asshole that's now in the bathroom. So right. Matt sent both of us the same video today. Same exact video. <laughs> and it was uh, uh, shooting in Brevard or something like that. Suspect uh, uh, Coke bust. Coke, Coke bust. bust. Coke drug, drug bust yeah. in Brevard County. Drug bust in Brevard County. I saw <laughs> I saw little numbers down at the bottom of the screen. Uh-huh. Right? And by the time I realized that the numbers said like 1996 Dude. or 2006, it was too late. Dude. <laughs> I What happened, John? I was zoomed in on my goddamn phone. Okay. Looking at this video because it was grainy. The video was grainy. It was grainy. very grainy. It looked it like was, a real. It looked like a real drug bust. The cops were about to break into the house. And then all of a sudden it was like it's raining men started playing. It, it, oh. And big old penises. It was just a montage of dancing dicks. Big old dancing penises. Just in flopping our face. around. Flopping around. Some big humdingers. And... For, I wait. showed my wife a little bit, and she was just sitting there with her mouth open like, oh, my gosh. And- I, I do need to chime in, though, for all, for all the girls that as they look at you and they put their hand on your shoulder <laughs> and they're like, a dick that big is just, it's awful. <laughs> Bullshit. Right? <laughs> like, 
You tell me as everywhere I go, every stoplight I'm stopped at, every corner I'm waiting to cross, I stand like Superman. You want to know why? Because I could kill you with my dick. That's how so I would feel. I'm back. And from what I heard, I left. All you guys talked about was dicks. We did. <laughs> you That's it. why you came back. <laughs> hey, yeah. you ran the back. Rush. Hands are still wet. You back. So, <laughs> we were talking about the lovely video you sent us today. Which was forwarded to me from someone else. Okay. Yeah. Regardless. But it got me too. Oh, I was man. like, you motherfucker. I was like, got me good. Yeah. Did you catch the date on it right before it turned to dicks? No, because I, I, was, I was driving and I was looking... And I saw it, and I was like, "Ah!" Oh. And I, the person who sent it to me, I was like, "We have a lot of mutual shitty friends." So I'm like, "This could be legit." Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't at all. I honestly, like, I honestly, first thing came to my mind was one of our friends are back in town, and they're already in jail. Uh huh. They're already in trouble. That would so, never happen. Not here, because <laughs> we're a wholesome place. Do you get that a lot though? There's a lot of your friends send you dick pics. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I get it all the time. It's re- so, the last one I got was a was like a a bulk pack of hot dogs <laughs> <laughs> coming out of a very personal area, <laughs> like uh, not the eight pack. This uh, had to be the twenty four. <laughs> this had to be the twenty four pack. No, but I got some people I can send it to, and they know better. They're like, I'm not opening that uh-huh. shit. Fuck you. And then like I'll they send it. Some people that. are so gullible, and they're like, I can't believe you do that to me. I'm like. Well, you know I'm going to do that. <laughs> I get very hesitant with anything that comes from Facebook uh-huh. from Matt. Because it but, usually means he w- it just got it and he forwarded it right on to me. It yeah. used to be so much worse, though, in the group. A group so, message used to be worse because you ha- never know. How does Facebook not monitor that? But if you post something <laughs> semi, like... They're not monitoring that, but when you start getting advertisements for all this, you know, man-on-man stuff in your junk box... <laughs> <laughs> you know where it came from, <laughs> but you can report. You can report that when you get it. It says report you underneath. Don't fucking it. snitch on anyone? No. Yeah. Facebook snitch? Hell Not no. me. I didn't snitch on anybody. It's terrible. Not me. It's worse than a real snitch. <laughs> You're ruining people's fun. All right. So I got um, a little update. The so there was a dude going around upskirting oh, with his yes. phone. I saw this. That was at our Publix. What? Yeah. So our Publix what here do in Publix town. What do Publix do? Because that's going to change whether or not I go there tomorrow. Huh? The, he got arrested. You're good. He All ain't right. going to take a picture of your sack. Um, <laughs> he, was, he was putting his uh, phone up a uh, lady skirts at a couple of different stores. And I want to say that if I caught him, whoo, buddy. Bad news bears. But the wonderful TPD caught him. If you caught him, though, would you ask first to check his phone to confirm whether or not he was... No, he was a ginger with a beard. <laughs> no, I would have probably raged and ended up in jail myself. Do we know him? No, I didn't recognize him. That was the first thing I looked. As soon as they arrested him, I was like... Because, you know, like first thing that comes to your mind as, like, let's just say you heard it. Like yep. if I was like, "Hey man, somebody in Tysville just got busted." The first thing in my in your mind is you're thinking of all the people you know that are that capable of do doing that. that. Yes. <laughs> and you're like, "Fuck, <laughs> fuck, it was Kevin." <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? Like you're like running through this list where you're like, "Damn it, Sean again." Yep. You know? Yep. And then like all these people start clearing out, and, you know, cuz they announce the guy where they tell you he's a redhead and you're like, "No, that gets rid of these people." And then you're thinking, is it terrible that I think my no, friend I mean, is capable you just, of doing you, that? You know your friends. You're like, I'm running through the list. Yep, yep, yep. Do you uh, <laughs> need a fingerprint on uh, on this here, please, sir? I thought you fixed it. No, I didn't. Thank you. No problem. Well, we're back to you. John does not know what he's doing with any of this Absolutely. technical equipment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ruin the website. No, you you know what? We've talked about this before, and this is totally freaking spitball in this thing here. But uh, and I also feel when I sit in the seat, I have to say things that aren't quite bad words, but they come out like spitballing mm-hmm. or like, well, golly gee, because Kevin says the dumbest <laughs> shit. <laughs> except, <laughs> except when it was the little uncensored video. Yeah, he said one bad word. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then he beat himself up. He's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't, I, I'm upset. I said, fuck. I'm never gonna say that word again. <laughs> but 
we talked about doing a segment at one point called but what do i know and i think that is the funniest thing in the world because anything that we say we can honestly put at the end of it what i know what would i know fuck me right yeah like i, I don't know <laughs> that was mine we were just calling people assholes that we've never met but you know what do i know yeah but <laughs> dude that negates any like responsibility You're like yeah but what do i know yeah. what no. can i i mean meh yeah. meh yeah. What can you do? So we're going to promise Forget you to give it. you something that sounds legitimate ah, dude, every week. Ah, dude, don't be promising shit. No, I'm, I'm always going to tell you something that sounds legit, but what do I know? <laughs> don't promise anything. <laughs> Just do not take any promise. I saw what you Frank. did there. Yeah. Uh-huh. All well, right. you know, <laughs> you know what's legit is the family that gave their son... Um, who passed away at the oh, age God, of 18. There. Yep. Oh. A New Orleans family chooses a, a unique way, a unique but loving way, to say goodbye to their son. His oh. wake, right? His wake. He's 18 years old, and his favorite thing to do is watch the Celtics play and play his Xbox or PlayStation and eat Doritos and drink soda. So most people have seen this. It's fucking blown up all over the internet. Uh-huh. What, would you, what would you want? Like if you were to Great be, question. if you were to be immortalized in some way like that, what would you want to be? Man, would you want to be like sitting there watching wrestling, like fucking pumped? No, no. I, I'd like to be sitting like I guess behind my computer screen or something in my underwear. Um, if you're getting a visual picture, and uh, unfortunately, I am. Keep going, John. And uh, maybe a thing of Chinese on the side, since that's one of my Ooh. favorite meals. And, yeah. And okay. uh, just, uh, you know, maybe Frank, with a dog. How would you see yourself around? immortalized? How do I see myself, or what do I see people doing to my corpse? Hmm. But <laughs> I would totally questions. drag my sack across your face. <laughs> I see one of you guys being like, no, look, Janet, he always wanted to be wearing a pair of women's underwear. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I right? can see this gone. I've always had a pact with Frank. No matter what, <laughs> I'm smashing all of his electronic devices. When no, he dies. no matter what, and it's got nothing. To, like it's not. No, You're it's just gonna just, walk into the house and yeah, I'm gonna walk them. in with a just, hammer. Almost like the FBI, bl- Men in Black, black suit with a yeah. memory eraser. Yes. You just walk in, bam, 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 smash it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what's on and it. You leave. It's just preserving freedom. Sure. Because <laughs> hypothetically, Frank's innocence. No, I well, would it's all of us. We, we, we made like, a pact. Yeah, you yeah. know, there's a few of us that made that pact. We don't have to say names. We just know that. <laughs> yeah, your electronic devices are safe from right. us. And it's not just that, because you know, like a little I have, business almost. Look, we've all been there. We've That's all good. clicked yeah. on something that maybe we weren't too proud of, and it brought us down a little, you know, web, oh, web, web rabbit hole. I go down a rabbit hole of shenanigans just to send you guys messed up stuff it's disgusting and i feel bad for looking at it but i'm like this is gonna be so good when they <laughs> fucking get some it's terrible and i don't want my life to be judged based on something matt sent me in a text <laughs> message one of my fears so i quit i tr- I, I backed off I, w- I can't say i quit because i won't I'm be a fucking liar I backed off playing on the phone as much while I'm driving. Okay. My biggest fear was I would be looking at something super fucked up to send you guys, and I crash. And yeah. that's what they find. Right. Because you see the uh, AT&T, yes. like, this was the message he was trying to send. <laughs> and they're like, we can't put that Whoa. on TV. No. <laughs> no. Why does that dude have two dicks? <laughs> well, Matt, what about you? Oh, man. I don't know, man. Probably in some sort of car or something. I would want someone, I would want you guys to steal a super awesome car and bury me in it. That way they pe- the people would never find it. Can we just drive you into a river <clears throat> in yes, the awesome car? But you, as long as you promise to steal the car from Mike Tyson. <sighs> oh. You steal Mike Tyson's car. Tough. You just put a very and Kevin's big, taking the punch. Yeah. You put a very big weight upon our shoulders. Uh, but, I mean, if you're going to go big. Sure. Did you, you say yours? I, I didn't. I was going to say that uh, I can see the kids propping me up on the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> With the iPad? And just, the iPad. and just giving me a hard time. You done yet? But the iPad's <laughs> internet can't be working properly. No, yeah. which is why it's taking me so long. <laughs> He's like... He's uh, hot spotting his phone to get his <laughs> iPad to work. He's like, motherfucker. Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. 
other than that, man, I just want to, you know, not die in my office. No one wants to at work. Work. Yeah. Work is. Yeah. yeah I want to die outside of work. Dude, there's a huge. Preferably on a Sunday There's night. a huge movement, like a minimalist movement to where people are not, they're downsizing, not working so much just to actually live. And it's gaining like huge steam. Dude, I would, if it was up to me. And I would find a way to downsize enough so that I didn't have to work more versus I have more money to spend. Mm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so I would much rather. Well, even if you have less and no debt, you're still good. Yeah. You're so, you're so great. So, you know I mean? That, that's a great point. And it's like, I didn't want to take it down this path. So I talked to John about this a little bit earlier. And was I not there? It was before you got here. Yeah. And we were just saying how like we both kind of had crappy weeks at work, and then you start to really put a value on your own time. Dude, and, time's super value. But the problem is it's always more valuable to you than to somebody else mm -hmm. because their time is more valuable to them right. than somebody else, right? So it's all about getting somebody else to do your shit yeah. so that you have more time. And uh, so you kind of look back and, and you know um, – a really good friend told me that, you know, the sacrifices you make now, you know, they definitely pay off for your kids, et cetera, et cetera. Like right. I, I hundred percent get it. hundred percent get it. Me being a deadbeat today is not good for my kids tomorrow, but me working hard is going to sh show them something. But is it selfish to want to also experience the life that you're making for them? No, not at all. And you have to find a balance. So, Say you want to travel instead of going to fucking Paris or Tokyo or something. You fucking travel to Omaha versus. Sure. But like it's still <clears throat> everything comes comes back to it's like the journey, not the fucking destination type. Yeah. Of bullshit. But it's well, that's it. Well, it was at this point, guys, I looked down and I realized I just stepped on the power button for all the equipment. Uh, so we, we tried to pick up and continue and we just started getting into a bunch of laughter, going down tunnels of conversation, but we were able to record some stuff, man, it's took over. Here you go. Enjoy. Sorry, man. Homework. Guys, we can't fuck this up with Kevin gone. We cannot. It has to be good. It has to be good. Because if we fuck it up and he's gone, that gives him so much ammo. Alright, so you ready? Let's go. Can I be pissed at you? It's still recording? No. What? They're not going to know that we lost any of that. They might not know. Uh, it's like fucking uh, John. And we lost. We lost the last. I can't hear anything. Just keep <laughs> repeating. No, there's no echo. That's just this fucking faggot laugh. Oh god. Uh, All right, ready? Let's let's. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're recording that because we'll just put that in the the middle right there. Uh, unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. All right, ready? <laughs> in five. <sighs> Finger in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>
The last time we took a cut, Matt had one beer. You're gonna come back. Put your beers in there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, fuck! He doesn't. Hey, we should. Be, listen, listen, we should come back in with no shirts on. I just. Just fucking have me. I'm just crying. Fucking podcast problem shit. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Literally, look, no, literally, watch. 5401, 5402. What the fuck just happened? Oh, yeah. Uh, fuck. Did you turn my mic off? <sighs> well, listen, guys. Downsizing, <laughs> downsizing is going to be great. We may have just recorded <laughs> our best blooper reel ever. Ever. And I know we're only four shows deep, but we may have the best <laughs> blooper reel ever. It beats our last Best blooper reel from last you'll, week. Yes, it blows that away, and you'll be able to tell because Matt is crying with laughter. Frank uh, is making gay giggles, <laughs> and more beer is on the table <laughs> than the last time. The camera just magically showed more beer in front of Matt. So uh, no, the camera won't, doesn't lie. <laughs> we uh. We had an exciting show. We had a lot of stuff. I Did we start the... all over? What the fuck are you talking about? We had an we exciting... Had... I said we had an exciting show. We Let's take a breath. Let's get our breath. Yeah, we started all Look, over. Look, no, guys. Had... Like, this was a great show. Yes. Everything was good until great Johnny show. stopped recording the fucking podcast. No, he stomped on the fucking... <laughs> uh, I hit the cord. The I hit the cord. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't realize it until we were pretty much done. Uh. But... And John said, "No, no, 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 no." But, but listen, I gotta say, hands up, the Don't Kevin, shoot. Kevin. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Kevin, uh, I'm sorry, buddy, but I gotta say, the flow is pretty good. The flow is pretty good. Uh, you missed a lot, brother. Yeah, we miss we miss Kevin though, and we hope you have fun over there in California and have a Mickey pop on us, would you? Would you? Hey, right, for Matt, John, this is Frank saying, fuck you, Kevin. <laughs> fuck you. We are out. We hope you enjoyed the show. Check out our description for social media links. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. And join us each and every week. See you next time.